Clearview Technologies is leading the ESG way within the construction industry. Environmental, social and governance policies are the future and companies that are slow to catch on risk more than just the sustainability of their businesses. Studies show investors and companies are including ESG as a critical part of their investment strategies. I'm joined by Clearview Technologies CEO in North America, Basil Karampoulos. Now, Basil, thank you so much for joining me today. No, it's great to be here again. Thank you. To start with, can Clearview Technologies products truly make a significant difference to reducing the energy requirements of a construction? The impact really is substantial. We're talking about a 40% reduction in heating and cooling costs when you compare our product to single pane windows. And more importantly, it doesn't just reduce energy requirements. These windows produce electricity at the same time. So this doesn't just reduce the building owner's energy bill but it also allows for peak power demand reduction for the utility providing electricity. And the applications are very broad. There's a panoply of potential applications between office towers, greenhouses, multifamily residential, even luxury residential, where the rooftop solar might not have the aesthetic appeal. And so our product can be an interesting replacement for them. So how do your products meet the current ESG expectations within the construction industry? Well, based on our work to date, in certain markets, we actually exceed future expectations in construction. We completed the design of a 15,000 square meter archetype building model to demonstrate how this product can be used in assisting reaching net zero energy use. And when this modeling was completed, what we learned was that our archetype was shown to achieve the highest level of performance under the Toronto Green Standard from 2030. And so this had an energy star in the top 1% of Canadian office buildings for energy performance. So we feel very confident given that we're actually achieving future goals, not just what's out there today. So were ESG policies then always at the forefront for Clearview Technologies when they were developing their products and, and operations? ESG really is a part of our company's DNA. Our founder and executive chairman, Victor Rosenberg, had a vision for tackling the largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. And our solution with Clearview is really just doing that. And we're motivated to create not only value for our shareholders, but we wanna treat our customers and commercial partners with respect and do something not only beneficial, but long live for our planet. So Clearview's founder, Victor Rosenberg, he really must have had some foresight. You know Vic as well as I do, and he's a serial entrepreneur. And I've really been fortunate to work not only with Victor, but a number of these types of visionary founders of companies. And in my experience, they all share a common trait. And what that is, is that they're focused on solving problems, not just for what's going on today, but what those problems will be in the future. And, and that's the way you actually avoid what we call the clean tech industry, the valley of death, where companies are spending too much time trying to solve today's problems with a product that's not going to be ready until some point in the future. So how does Clearview stand out, differentiate itself from other competitors in the market? I like to characterize how we're different from our competitors utilizing what I call the three T's, timing, transparency, and technology. Timing refers to the fact that we're the only company offering commercially available product in the range of sizes typically used by office buildings. Transparency refers to the fact that unlike many of our competitors, our product is a fully transparent one that allows all the visible light to shine through. So this offers maximum daylighting, which, as you know, offers not only health, but well-being benefits and productivity benefits for building users while simultaneously reducing the need for lighting. And finally, technology means that in addition to the energy savings due to the insulating properties of our windows, we also have significant electricity generating potential due to our proprietary technology. Of course, globally, there have been policy directives for the construction industry, such as those emerging from the UN Climate Change Conference, namely COP26. How does that shape innovation in construction moving forwards? The policy directives that we're seeing emerge right now are important that they emphasize that this is no longer an optional exercise for the construction industry. It's exigent that we take action now. And this is especially true given the relatively long lead time that it takes to build commercial properties. The buildings being spec today will be completed in three to four years time. Therefore, we need to be ahead of the curve by definition. Of course, building retrofits have a much shorter timeline and we see this in, as important in two aspects. One, it will allow us to get our product out into the market sooner. And two, it means that building owners can accelerate their involvement in climate reduction through their existing portfolio of assets and not just wait for the new ones that are gonna be constructed. 
And we're also targeting markets like the protected cropping agriculture market with sustainable greenhouses, which also have shorter lead times. So are there deadlines looming globally for the construction industry? As a father of three kids, I like to think that the world of ESG is, is in many ways the same as being a parent. There really is no finish line. We're already late to the party of solving our planet's climate crisis. So what we need to focus on is, is really not deadlines, whether they're perceived, actual, or theoretical. We know what we need to do, and every day that we delay puts us further behind. So what we really need is an all-hands-on-deck approach. So how do you think the industry can make large-scale moves to sustainability and, and do it quite quickly? If the lessons of COVID and the current geopolitical situation have shown us anything, it's really demonstrated the importance of supply chain. Therefore, companies like ours and others really need to focus on securing a network of suppliers and assemblers across the globe to ensure that security of supply and also to ensure that the carbon footprint of our products is not adversely affected by logistics. Second, there really needs to be a concerted effort by real estate owners and lessors to quantify and recognize the value of having products like ours in terms of both environmental and financial benefits. And finally, it's really important to have clear and consistent policy frameworks from governments so that purchasers of our products can have comfort that there's not a near-term regulatory risk that could affect their long-term financial and environmental benefits. Basil, you just briefly mentioned financial benefits. There are financial benefits for developers, for those in the construction industry, to call in products such as yours? Absolutely. These, these products are not going to be redundant because they have a carbon reduction aspect to them, an energy production aspect, and energy savings. Therefore, even in a world without ESG requirements, our products still create a significant amount of value for building owners and tenants. And this is reflected not only in terms of energy usage and energy production, but it's also in terms of health benefits as well as productivity. And that can lead to higher rents being achieved by those properties. And that doesn't even take into account some of the features that we're building into our product, like ventilation and, and the health benefits associated with that. I'm very excited and optimistic, not only of our product, but of our company and the industry as a whole. Well, thank you very much for that very informative chat. That's Basil Karampoulos speaking there for Clearview Technologies in North America. Thank you. Well, thank you. It was great to be here again, Sonia.